So I thought I'd do this video on electric vehicle charging ports and cables. This is like a beginner's guide, so maybe you're starting to look at EVs or you've got your EV and you need to buy a charge cable and you find it all a bit confusing. So electric vehicles, they all have an AC charging port. So that's alternating current and that is what you would use at home to charge your electric vehicle. And there are basically two types, and that's, the, that's all there is, it's just two types. This is a Nissan Leaf, and it's called a Type 1. And a Type 1 connector looks like that, a round connector, five pins with a latch at the top. So um, generally Asian cars have Type 1, um, older cars generally have Type 1, so like the early Kangoo, these, Kia Soul, all that sort of thing. The only other type you can get is Type 2, and a Type 2 li looks like that. It's two extra pins and a flat top and generally a bigger connector. That's your lot, Type 1 or Type 2. So you buy the right, right type of cable for your car end, and the other end of all charging cables is the other end of a Type 2. And so all chargers, public chargers and home chargers are all Type 2 at the other end. So the cable that should come with the car sorts it out. It will be whatever end is on the car and the charging end is always Type 2. So while we're looking in this leaf, you will also have this other port. This is your DC charging port. So this is the rapid charging port. In this case, it is a Chadamo connector and this is a 50 kilowatt DC. So DC means direct current and that's your 50 kilowatt direct current straight into the battery pack. So that's what you would use on public charging posts. Typically they're motorway networks in some Ikeas and now also in some petrol forecourts. But you don't buy a cable for this because the this is this charger is um, providing 50 kilowatt the cables always on the pump the charger the cables sort of this thick as well because it's huge to get that much power in so you don't need to worry about that end that end always the cables on the charger and you snap in whereas this end this is where you use your own cable which comes with a car some cars, like the Renault Zoe here, only have a Type 2 connector because they can only charge at AC. Uh, you generally get that on um, certainly all Renault Zoe's until the new one, the ZE50, comes out later this year. That will have AC and DC. But all previous Zoe's all charge at AC only. Um, the same goes for Renault Kangoo's, they're AC only. Uh, smart cars and the uh, Mercedes B-Class and probably a few others off, no, I can't remember off the top of my head. And here we have a Kia Soul and the Kia Soul is the same as the uh, Nissan Leaf. We have a DC connector here for your rapid charging and then an AC connector here for your um, home charging and obviously um, 7 kilowatt public charging posts. So as I said the charging end is always type 2 that's the other end of a type 2 connector and all home chargers and public AC charging post all have the same type 2 connector so whether the car is a type 1 or type 2 doesn't matter this end the charging end is always type 2. I'll also quickly explain what happens in the end of this connector so these connectors are just delivering mains power 240 volt um, AC power of course so we've got our three main pins live neutral and earth so when you plug the other end into a charger, the cable isn't live. So you could be walking up to your car and you, if you happen to say drop this in a puddle, you're not going to electrocute yourself because it isn't live, even though the other end is plugged into the charger and the charger switched on. What you get is these two little smaller sense pins and that's uh, a lower voltage system. I, just, I assume it's 12 volt, I'm not sure. But when you plug this, cable into the car into the orange port there the car then communicates with the charger on these smaller low voltage pins and then when it's happy and it knows it's plugged in both ends and it's all safe and uh, the car's communicated with the charger it then says okay i'm ready to charge and you'll hear the contacts go clunk in the charger and then it switches on the power and it delivers the voltage down these two other pins and obviously one's earth and the same exists here on the newer Type 2 connector. We've got a live neutral earth in the middle pins. Here's our two smaller pins at the top, which are the little communicating pins. But we've also got these extra pins down here, and these are for three-phase power. So that's why vehicles have now moved on to Type 2, and this has become the new standard, because it allows you to deliver 
um, higher charging rates because we can use uh, two extra pins to give us new uh, two extra phases and you can charge up to 22 kilowatt on these. However there's not many cars that can charge on three phase. The Renault Zoe is one. Actually the Renault Zoe uh, on a Q motor can charge at 43 kilowatt um, so it's using these extra three phase pins. The same is on a newer uh, BMW i3, they can charge at 11 kilowatt and so can um, Mercedes B-Class and some uh, smart cars if they've got the upgraded charger. So next let's look at cables. So hopefully your EV should come with a charging cable. Personally I would never sell a car without a cable. It's a bit like selling a a, um, a car without the keys to the filler cap really but many cars don't come with cables certainly new cars it's another way of getting a bit extra money out of you um, they don't supply you with a type 2 charging cable uh, for example BMW i3s they supply you with the granny cable that you can charge on a three pin plug but you don't get your type 2 AC charging cable so uh, perhaps you need to buy a cable or you've got a um, an untethered wall charger and you want to buy a second cable that you can leave in the charger and turn it into a tethered and then you don't have to keep getting your cable out of the boot of the car every day. So when you're buying a cable there are basically uh, three types really which I've got here. I've got some new cables here I've opened up so I can show you. You either have 16 amp cable or 32 amp cable or three phase cable. So a 16 amp cable is a bit thinner and you would use that on vehicles that can only ch charge up to 16 amp. So for example the earlier Renault Kangoos or a Nissan Leaf that's only got the standard 3.3 charger um, or many of the earlier vehicles like uh, smart cars and things like that. However, what you find now is actually a 32 amp cable doesn't really cost any more than a 16 amp, so you might as well have the thicker cable, but um, a 16 amp cable is just fine for those scenarios. And the way you can tell is generally, like here we've got on the sticker, it says 16 amp, but it's a much thinner cable. If you put that next to the 32 amp cable, it's much thinner, but we can look at the writing on the side it says we've got three cores at 2.5 millimetres plus two cores at 0.5 millimetres. So that again is our connectors on the end. If we look at that, there's our three cores at 2.5 millimetres square. They're delivering the live neutral and earth. And then the half a millimetre cores, two cores, are our two communicating pins at the top. If we now go on to a 32 amp cable, it's exactly the same setup it's just that the cable is a bit thicker because it's got to deliver 32 amp down the cores rather than uh, 16 amp so if we look at the writing here on the cable we can find it there we go we've got three cores at six millimeter square plus the two communicating pins and that's the way if you haven't got a sticker obviously on the bag if you're looking at it it's obviously thicker cable but if you've only got the one you can't uh, compare it against anything so you have to look at the core size and this has got three cores at six millimeter square so that's 32 amp and this has got three cores at two and a half millimeter square the next type of cable you've got is the three phase cable so this is a mistake people often make um, so if you're buying a cable for a car that's got three phase charging for example all Renault Zoe's or as I've said um, maybe a BMW i3 ideally you want a three phase cable because that means if you plug into a public charger that has got three phase your car's going to charge at the maximum rate it can if you've got a 32 amp cable while that's fine for charging at home on your home seven kilowatt charger because you're not going to have three phase at home well 99.9 .9 percent of people don't um, then this is fine this will charge at seven kilowatt but if you're out on a public um, using a public charging post and that charging post happens to be three phase which to be fair there aren't too many of them but if there is it's a real advantage to be able to have the right cable that can take advantage of that and of course your car's going to charge much quicker so if your car has got um, a higher charging rate then you might as well have the cable that can take advantage of it 
So this cable, as I've said before, all it does is utilize these two extra pins. So you've got the three cores here and then you've got the other two pins, which are another two lives. And the way we can tell here is looking at the cable. Where is, is the writing? Here's the writing. I'll have to um, now. I'll have to film it upside down there. So we've got five cores at six millimeters plus your two half mil square um, communication cores. So whereas your 32 amp cable was three cores at six millimeters, this one is five cores at six millimeters. And of course, there's our five pins. One, two, three, four, five. So the other thing I'll just mention is you can't always go on the connector because this one is only a single phase cable. So it's only using these middle pins, but it does have uh, metal in these other pins. Sometimes these are blanked off and they won't have a core inside. But in this case, they've used the same connector. So those pins aren't connected, but you'd look at that and think, yeah, that's a three phase because you've got contacts in there, but it's not, this is only a single phase cable. It's only using those. So that's where you've got to just double check and look at the number of cores in the cable. So just to recap, three core plus two, at two and a half mil is 16 amp three cores plus two at six mil square 32 amp or five cores plus two at six mil squared is three phase cable so hopefully the cable that comes with your car is the right cable uh, i'll just quickly say this is a renault cable renault tend to have this unique um, color i don't know what you call that cyan i guess and um renault zoe charging leads should all be three phase so it's much thicker cable however in this case there's no writing on it at all but we can tell it's three phase well we've got a good chance it's three phase because we've got contacts in these lower pins and you can tell it's much thicker thicker uh, heavy duty cable so as i said when you've got the right cable it will allow this car here this in this case this is a q motor so it charges at 43 kilowatt um, but I would just, to confuse things a bit more, you're not going to get 43 kilowatt through this cable. That will only charge at maximum 22. Um, but you're going to get the 43 kilowatt when you're using a rapid charger. And that, of course, as I've said, has the uh, cable on the charger and the connector on the charger. You can just plug in and when you're charging at 43, a much bigger cable like that. But this cable will charge at 22 kilowatt when you're using a public post that you can... Um, well, you put that end in the charger, that end goes in the charger, that end goes in the car. So if you've got to buy a charge cable, an AC charging cable, then obviously it's the type of connector on the end for your car. It'll only be a type one or a type two, as it is in this case. The other end, as I've said, are always type two because all chargers have type two at the other end. And then it comes down to, um, well, obviously cable length. That's a, uh, depending on your circumstances, how long a cable you need. Um, the standard is five meter that's what comes with most vehicles so then it comes down to um, the charging rate of your charger if you've got a an older EV that charges at um, three three and a half kilowatt then a 16 amp cable is fine that's all you need you could use a 32 if you've got a seven kilowatt charger in your car then you want 32 amp but if you've got one of the few EVs that charges any higher which would be a Renault Zoe BMW i3 a Tesla or a Mercedes B-Class or a smart car if it's got the charger upgrade which are few and far between then really you want a three-phase cable because then that will allow you to charge at uh, the appropriate speed whether it's 11 or 22 kilowatt on a public charger they are few and far between but um, you might find that when you're on that charger you know you would regret if you didn't have a three phase because then you can charge much quicker than if you were limited just to a single phase cable